to be chade e ko life o ti se ba o ba ba ofin e ha o bi e all right good morning and welcome to the show this is good morning africa with me kwabana bibini Tevia, aka dj for the public enemy who has no what is been an amazing wonderful um thursday and uh i know it's not easy for some people but there's 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 nothing we can do than to um motivate ourselves this morning to take everything that is not that good behind us and uh, go with the positive vibe that we need in this time or in this trying times so the show is good morning africa and i'm your host once again my name is kwabana bibinitia aka dj for the public enemy 
who hates no one so the music you heard was from the lady Wiala, one of ghana's top top internationally appealed uh artists and uh, this was an original song by one of the biggest band in africa by the name osibisa they call this one oh yeah yeah oh we are going oh yeah yeah it's a ga word ga is one of the tribes or the languages in ghana here actually the capital of ghana uh the people in accra are called the gas and oh yeah yeah it's a ga word which means we are going and it says it will be hard we know that the road will be rough will be muddy and rough but we will get there heaven knows when we'll get there that is Riala doing her own rendition of OCBC's uh Oyaya or oh, we are going and uh, last night when I was doing uh, the pre-production for this morning show I was thinking of which song would be appropriate for uh, such a time that we are in such a day you know so i went through my mind and i was like no ocb says oyaya is a perfect song and i i think that riala has added uh, an amazing twist to it with uh, her new flavor and that's why i decided to motivate ourselves with this amazing song from Wayala. So you can go to YouTube and uh, check her out and watch the video and leave your comment. The song is We Are Going by Wayala on YouTube. You can get it right. So this morning, what are we talking about? We are looking at what we can do in this trying times as Africans. Is it all bad? Is it all negative? Is it all gloomy? As we go through the um, coronavirus pandemic worldwide. But this is Good Morning Africa. So I want us to uh, look at ourselves as Africans. Is there any opportunities? Is there anything that African countries, African leaders can take advantage of? This is what we are going to look at today. So yes, uh, as you can see, this is the time that we as Africans need to hold hands together. This is the time we need to hold hands together and uh, pull ourselves together and find solutions together. And I believe that we as African people, we can do it. We can do it. Our Kelly once said that the only way we can do something is when we we don't want to do it. So please, I have seen people leaving their comment already. I'm going to uh, go through some of your comments uh, right there. So the question is, what advantages, what opportunities are there for us as Africans in these trying times? And uh, today, I'm also going to take the opportunity to celebrate an amazing African woman who uh, has also added her voice to the call for more hospitals to be built in Africa rather than churches. Yes, at the right time, I will, I will introduce her to you, and not in the studio, but I will show you her picture and also uh, let you know what she is saying as far as the fight against coronavirus is concerned and for her how african uh, clergymen uh, 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 exploiting their people promising them all sort of big promises uh, uh, 
um, promises and uh, miracles. Meanwhile, when coronavirus showed its ugly face, every pastor has gone into hibernation. So, this are uh, the two main things that we're going to look at this morning. So, first of all, let's start with the advantages. The advantages thereof for uh, we as African people. I believe that this period that we are in is a time that no one can travel to uh, where we used to travel to to go uh, look for commodities, especially food. If you don't know, Africa is a dependent nation. We depend on other nations for what we eat, what we wear, and everything. And that has been entrenched for the mere fact that we've got the taste. We've got the taste for foreign goods. You understand? Therefore, I believe that whenever we go into trouble, whenever we go into crisis, instead of sitting there and crying and wailing and lamenting about a problem, let's look at some solutions that are hiding beneath the mass. And I've been, I've been, I've been sitting down and thinking about what we can do as Africans for a while now. And I believe that we can take advantage of this pandemic one to change the structure the nature of our health delivery the infrastructure of our health system that's number one i think that by the time this pandemic goes to an end if we didn't get anything, one of the things that we should get is to get a better hospitals. Or even if we are not building new ones, for example, in Ghana, even if we are not building new hospitals, at least we should equip the hospitals with the necessary uh, things that doctors and nurses and whoever work as a front line at the hospitals need and, and 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 this pandemic has shown what i've been talking about all the time that me in ghana no politician can tell me to vote because they've done something in health either the ndc or the mpp because i was at the forefront of ebola fight in 2015 so I know our health infrastructure has not changed from 2015 up to now. So as we combat this pandemic in Africa, in Ghana, all that I want is that by the time we are done with this deadly virus or disease, we as Africans should take advantage of this to at least if we are not building new hospitals at least let us equip the hospitals that we have let us equip our health workers because it's a shame that our hospitals has been there behaving our, 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 our leaders are behaving like ostriches, dipping their, 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 their beaks into the sun, thinking that they are hiding. Always when they mount political platform, they have thousands and, 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 and millions of achievements they've, they've done in health healthcare. And, and this pandemic has exposed our politicians. This pandemic has exposed how porous porous our, our our health systems are how dangerous it is for a Ghanaian or, or some African health workers to work in on this continent as health workers and no wonder our doctors just run away to the other side of the world in their numbers 
so this is is something that i want all of us let's use social media to draw drop drum home the the, the the fact that we should take advantage of the coronavirus to change the face of our of our of our health facility sorry our health facilities yes so that's number one we can take advantage of this pandemic and we have no choice we have to do that because without this pandemic african leaders are not going to equip our hospitals to the standard that they can visit there one day if they have headache are you getting my point because it, it, it's quite unpleasant it's quite shameful for me to sit here and say that we should take advantage of a deadly disease it doesn't sound well but that is the situation we have we found ourselves in ghana that is the situation we find ourselves in africa our leaders will never visit the hospitals they claim they built and therefore you should vote for them based on that and i've told you that if you're a ghanaian and 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 your, your 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 number six is working you shouldn't vote for a politician because of anything related to health because the health facilities that they claim to have established to have built they don't go there they don't trust it and why should you give your vote to somebody for something he or she has created that that person would never taste it doesn't make sense so let's use our social media platforms to drum home the fact that our leaders our leaders our leaders must take this opportunity to do the need for to equip our hospitals to that level to that level where if they are sick they can be sent there if they are sick they can visit there if their children are sick they can go to the hospitals as it stands now none of our leaders political leaders i mean trust the hospitals they claim they built if you meet the mpp at a rally they will have somebody to be there to tell you what they've done amazingly as far as uh health is concerned but me kwabana bibini tell we are sitting here I don't see anything they've done. The MPP has done, the NDC has done in terms of health. Because if you listen to health workers since this pandemic started showing a face in Ghana, you see that we don't have hospitals. We only have buildings where name of hospitals have been written on it. So let's take this advantage and make sure we transform our hospitals to the level where any day any time a pandemic like this show its face we can uh, 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 be rest assured that our health workers are, are not going to run away when a patient is sent there okay now what is the other opportunities or advantages awaiting us as african continent i think that this is the time government of ghana government of nigeria any african country that is serious will change the 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 the, 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 the status quo will take advantage to implement a, an import substitution economy whereby government is going to uh, uh equip some farmers let's start with food because in all of this lockdown social distancing no work no school no this no that if we don't have food we are doomed so this is the time i am calling on governments in africa especially in ghana because i live in ghana to call the best farmers that we've been having over over the years and equip them with the finances they need because 100 million dollars is it's not a cheap it's not cheap it's not something small i think that 
just five million can equip about 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 20 farmers to go into commodities products foodstuffs that can grow within the next six months this money can provide them with the the the, the, the necessary irrigation, uh, irrigation uh, uh, machinery so that they don't rely on the natural weather as we all know that the natural weather is not trust uh, you can't trust it for now i am calling on nana kufuado I am calling on our president. First of all, I want to congratulate or commend the presidency um, and all his people that he's working with for the bold steps they've taken the moment they realize that the disease is coming home. From the first announcement to the second announcement where churches, funerals and all sort of things were banned. I, I, I commend the president for doing that. But let me say this joke, Nana. Anytime you are coming out to do this announcement, <laughs> after saying it in English, I know, I, I mean, I know, Nana, you, your, your tree is, is sexy. Nana Kufuado has a sexy way of speaking tree. Speak in tree as well. So that my pastor somewhere, I will not mention that area in Ghana, will understand you because Yesterday, I realized that the police had to go and arrest the pastor. For all you know, the pastor do, do respect our president. But unfortunately, the level of English that our president speak, maybe this pastor wants it. Wants it, you know what I'm saying? That, that just, uh, by the way, you know. So, I commend our president. I commend our president. Seriously, if 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 our leaders have been acting this way, and they wouldn't wait for crisis before they they act this way on behalf of the citizenry, I think some of us wouldn't be angry at them like this. You understand? So I commend the president for doing that. What next? After doing this. I think that another thing that I'm commending the president for is another pronouncement he made that this presents an opportunity for Africans, for Ghanaians, to start producing some things that we've been depending on outside world to get. Nanado, my president, I don't want this to be a rhetoric. I don't want get this to be just a near saying. We can do it. Seriously. We can do it. And, well, people who have been listening to me for a while now, since 2014, you know my political views as an individual or as a, as a journalist. I have said that the NDC and the MPP has not demonstrated enough to me to warrant my vote or for me to campaign for any one of them. Our president we are going into elections very soon and I think that if you can take advantage of this situation to make our country free uh, from importing some foodstuffs I think that Ghanaians are not foolish I believe that the age the times at which people vote simply because I'm an Akan I'm an away I'm an uh, not now it's gradually dying. It's still there, but it's dying. I'm telling you, 2020, 2016 elections, people didn't vote just because they wanted MPP. The youth who have been staying at home since 2012 without employment after school voted based on the the. the, the the employment policy that Nana Kufuado campaigned on. So now people are beginning to vote based on actions and policies. So our president, take advantage of this. If you're able to, and within six months, I think that if Nanadu would just 
put aside 10 million out of the 100 million for farming just select the best farmers just select the best farmers and equip them with with if it is land that they need let them have it if it is irrigation uh, uh um equipment let them have it and i tell you within six months we can turn this situation around because after we've realized that it has been able to be done then a lot of other private people will also go in because anytime i don't believe in this um, song of um uh, private private when the states take the lead that's where it attracts some private people to go into it especially when they realize that if they produce the state is going to buy and distribute so please when it comes to food because the crisis can seriously escalate if there's no food and right now even if somebody would think that we can use the military to go and bring food in people will not even trust the food <laughs> because of where it is coming from because the disease has destroyed everywhere we go for food and money so this is the time this is the time i think that we can do something when it comes to agriculture now let's come to pharmaceutical productions i think that Ghanaians, there's a lot of Ghanaians giving the opportunity can also make us stop importing some things like this hand sanitizer i was happy to see a doctor from kolebu you understand saying that the the, the hand sanitizer that uh, this is mine anyway uh, the hand sanitizer that he was using on metro tv as a guest was produced by doctors or pharmacists or whatever it is at kolebu that's amazing i was happy to hear that i've also heard that students at ken usd are manufacturing uh hand sanitizers to distribute for free you see the the the, the, the patriotism in the Ghanaian. but unfortunately lately our politicians are taking the little doses of um patriotism in us but let's use this pandemic to bring ourselves together and let's support our leader and i think that with the necessary support our leader can deliver what i want is by the time this pandemic goes down we will be food uh, 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 sufficient and petty petty things that we import from outside we produce right here job will be created and you don't need to stand on campaign platforms to talk too much because it is reflecting people go to work in factories owned by Ghanaians and if you are listening to me from anywhere in Africa this one goes out to you as well and if you know any 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 social media handle of any politician in Ghana in Africa anywhere tag them with this video that let's take advantage of this pandemic to change our economy yes we can yes we can I've also heard of of the core FX uh, a new booster medicine that is doing wonders in China what is government doing to make sure that this medicine gets certified satis, uh, certified around the world because whether we like it or not when there's pandemic it is an opportunity for another country to show how powerful they are by coming out with a, 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 a remedy what are we doing how is government supporting scientific research how is government lobbying helping to lobby around because that's what goes on that's what goes on let me read some of your comments uh right here on facebook gifty asantua say that we must start producing our own stuff exactly gifty 
uh, Ata Baso Dennis says that I, I am really proud of you. Thank you. And um, Eric Kweku Janfi Bebeto says coronavirus, other countries are seriously finding the antivirus. Our own president in Ghana is doing prayers. Oh, please, I have never seen our president doing any uh, prayers, though he's building cathedral, which some of us uh, don't agree with. Um, okay, so uh, greetings to uh, Bafo Jain the third time himself. And also greetings to Yao uh, Don Tease and uh, Kwame uh, and uh, Papa Yao Asiru. Uh, greetings to you all. Uh, keep your messages coming and I'll be reading them for you. Now, uh, let me uh, put this picture there and see if uh, it will ring any bell. You know, or the okay. So, um, all right. So, there's a woman by the name Joy Austin, a Nigerian by nationality who is making waves in, 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 in the news for a, a social media post that she did a few days ago. And, um, I think that Rabbi Moshe will be proud of this woman wherever he is because this is a woman who believes that the rate at which our African Africans are establishing churches is too much and that instead of building churches they should rather build more hospitals because at the end of the day, when coronavirus came, we did not go to church. As a matter of fact, churches are banned, banned all over uh, the world. But hospitals are still opened. And this woman, as we say, rightly nailed, nailed it. Good morning to you, Chip Chat. So the woman did a, a Facebook post where by some media house uh, published it, turned it into a news uh, item. So I'm going to read some. By yesterday, I had a chat with the woman and I, I told her this kind of mentality is the mentality we need in Africa as far as our women are concerned. I always, 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 I'm always happy when I find a woman who is getting conscious or who is conscious. So she said, more hospitals are needed than churches. Now you see churches are closed, but hospitals are still open. Joy Austin. So let's go into the story. A medical practitioner, Joy Austin, who pride herself as a non-denominational believer in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ has thrown a jab at over enthusiastic Christians who seem to forget about using their common sense. That's the thing. <laughs> in a Facebook, a Facebook post, Austin said she has been one of the people who keep preaching that we as human needs more hospitals than churches. And that churches, instead of making their worship center big, should rather use those resources to big hospitals. But whenever she says this, people do look at her as evil or devil incarnate. Now, with the outbreak of coronavirus, church, churches have been closed down. However, hospitals are still open to welcome people uh, who are sick, even those infected by the deadly virus. So in a series of Facebook posts, Joy, Joy Austin once again wants to remind Christians on the need for more hospitals to be built than expanding our churches every day 
we said your pastors should build hospitals instead of cathedrals so Nanado, this one see she's a nigerian and <laughs> The, the biggest cathedrals or synagogues are in Nigeria, in the whole of Africa. You know, you call us Antichrist. Now, your cathedrals will close. Hospitals are still open. She wrote in one post. We need more hospitals than churches in Africa. Convert some of the those churches to hospitals, uh, schools, and homeless shelters if God really called you, she added. This is amazing. And this is where the level of thinking that I wish our women gets to. You understand? That this does not mean that I I, I I I am in any way saying that I don't want our our men to also be conscious. But the reason why I am always particular about women getting conscious. Is that anytime a woman can co get conscious, the, 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 the ripple effect is amazing because women are the managers of our society, not home. Women are the managers of our society, they are the builders of our society, women are the molders of our society. You understand? That's why. I want, among many other things, I want this cliche, this term, housewife, to be deleted from our vocabulary as Africans. Because the moment we started using those words in its negative form, that's where our women also started saying that we're going to show you that we can stay off the home of the kitchen and still be relevant. And in, in, in our quest, in our quest to have majority of our women going out there and not respecting them and not even thinking of paying them for being managers, modest of our society, we start from the home. If you take some minutes, some days to do the analysis, the negative effect that we've gotten after our women started leaving the house. I'm not saying that if a woman has an amazing talent that she needs to be in a corporate world, she shouldn't. But I think that if we will we, we, we have we, we, we do a re-engineering of our society to have more women taking roles, picking up jobs that can make them have more time or ample time to manage their, their, their home. I believe that will go a long way because see I don't believe in equality I believe in balance I've said this before and I'm saying it again I don't believe in equality I believe in balance because sometimes you as a man you as a man can have 70% of something and without your wife's 30% you won't get 100%. And without that 100%, you can't do what you want to do with that. You, the man, can have 30%. And your wife may bring on board a, 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 a 70%. So the moment you get 100 balance has been created. That's what I believe in. I was watching a video of, 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 of a chicken, of chickens, the hen and a cock eating rice, grain of rice. And the cock just turned down the head and was just swallowing the grain of rice, just like that. Meanwhile, the, chick, the, the, the hen will pick a rice and put it in front of a chicken, pick another one, put it in front of another. And I, I, was, I was shocked, I was like, whoa, even among the animals, the female, the females, have a better way of managing the home better than the men i'm not saying that that they aren't some men who um are not good but i feel and uh, i stand to be challenged 
with my experience, I think that there are some things, no matter what, if you bring 10 women and bring 10 men, eight women will do it better than the men. And there are some things, if you bring 10 women and bring 10 men, 10, uh, eight men will do it better than the women. And that's why I say, anytime I see any of our women conscious, I, I, I take the opportunity to acknowledge them and let them feel uh, proud of themselves. Let them feel that they are being appreciated. Let them feel that they uh, are, are being um, known and respected. You understand? And another caution that I'm giving to uh, 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 men out there or everyone is that when a woman come out to be vocal we should just encourage them if we know a point in whatever they are doing that uh, they, they, they are getting it twisted we respectfully uh, let them know and I know any woman that want to grow want to learn more or accept advice and criticism so that's the woman uh, Joy Austin, who is a medical practitioner, I think in the uh, in Nigeria. I don't know whether she lives in Nigeria or what, but I think she's a Nigerian. And um, I was I was amazed by her thoughts. You know, these days sometimes I wouldn't say what people write on social media is them, but you can you can get to know what some people are by going through their social media posts. You know, in this day of uh, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, and everything. You go to some people's, especially with some women Facebook posts, and you'll be like, "Whoa!" If you have the type of this kind of woman in their numbers, uh, our society will get to where we want it to get to. Because whatever is made up of their mind is what they use to train our children at home. So, thank you, uh, Madam Joyce Austin, for that conscious uh, statement right there so uh let me go back to facebook and uh see if uh, there's any uh other uh, messages that i can read out there so christopher quisi i do say say i wonder how our leaders think hmm, that's that's a big deal but let's keep putting fire on them and uh, uh, uh um where they've done the right thing let's I, I, I praise them just like I was doing to our president. I remember last year when uh, I heard in the news that our, our president is having a deal with Cote d'Ivoire to make sure that we Africans, uh, cocoa producers in Africa, prize our cocoa. I, I did a whole show to uh, appreciate our president. So uh, it's not like we only come and lambast them. No, we will we, we'll say it as it is when they've done the right thing. And uh, Michael Badu, of course, is the great, great West. And uh, Michael Badu says that, but as you hail them, what is your take on some fake feminists who have as their goal elevate women and bring down women? Uh, any, any, anyone, any woman that think that bringing women up and bringing men down has lost it um they need to go to the drawing board you understand as i told you i don't believe in equality i believe in balance so if you think that you're going to be a feminist and um to make sure that women come above men you've done nothing the same problem that used to exist where maybe women were being trampled upon is what you're going to create in a different form. You understand? So, um, Pat Michael, what I would say is that any woman that thinks that she's, an, she's a feminist, you don't just be a feminist from just hearing one woman granting, uh, woman empowerment, woman empowerment, no. Pick books, go online, and learn about the origin of the feminine movement in the first place. Other than that, you get it twisted. And Michael, mark my words, what you realize is that majority of 
those misguided feminists are, 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 are most of times depressed. You understand? Because they will fight, 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 and at the end of the day, they are still not happy. They use the same feminists to show themselves. So I, 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 I don't waste much time on any woman who thinks that they, they, they are achieving something by bringing men down. No. Likewise, I, I don't support any man that will put in effort to bring a woman down. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, if we can grow with our women, we can have them beside us, not behind us, not in front of us, but on the same wavelength, will go a long way in developing our society. Equity over equality have always been my philosophy. Michael Badu Ako, thank you uh, very much. Yes. So um, today I cannot open the phone lines yes because my phone itself <laughs> has a problem and uh, besides uh, i was testing the software and uh after the show i'm going to sit down and listen if everything is, is nice then it means that uh regularly the show is going to happen every morning here with me in the studios so michael says that and i like how you put your yours balance not equity <laughs> not equality yes You know, so um, once again, let me say good morning to each and everyone uh, doing the watching right there. Uh, I will go for another musical break from uh, the lady Wiala, and after that, I'll come back to wrap up. So while the song is ongoing, please uh, do well to send in your messages, and uh, I'll read them before I wrap up. all right all right all right all right we will get there oh yeah yeah that is beautiful song by all standard from the lady Wiala. okay so welcome back welcome back uh for the wrap up of the show so i uh, would want to say a very good uh morning once again and thank you to each and everyone who tuned in who did the listening um today i went strictly english because i don't want only Ghanaians to benefit from this amazing uh perspective that i'm bringing out here i i want all africans so as i told you if you know any uh, anyone any mover and shaker in africa tag them with this video and let them ask themselves how can we take advantage of this in in this moment of, of of lockdown and all of that it's not easy being at home the stress but this is the time you need a sanitarius friend i'm telling you tomorrow or this evening if i have the time we'll talk about how to cope with these times how to be at home and not be too much stressed how to have something doing mentally because sometimes you can be there and you think that there's nothing you can do and that's when your mind starts traveling and it causes a lot of anxiety and stress you need a Sagittarius mind in this time in this great moment of, 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 of stress that's when you need a Sagittarius mind or a Sagittarius friend because we Sagittarius we don't see the problems we see the solutions most of the times which sometimes especially is dangerous yes we wouldn't waste our time thinking about the problem that has brought itself we waste time thinking about solution whilst enjoying 
along the way so how can you have a mindset that is not down that is not moody that is not sad in this time especially our brothers and sisters outside of africa over there the lockdown is serious and this evening if i have time we'll look at how to have a Sagittarius mind and how to have something beautiful doing to forget about the problem not to forget about it so that you don't do anything about it yeah so but before i go this is my hands uh sanitizer that i bought um ac 50 pesos uh you know so actually so i'm showing you to tell you that don't joke with all the precautionary measures that the experts are giving you know go with all of that go with all of that don't joke with any one of the precautionary measures that they are telling us or giving to us please let's be law abiding whatever the president has said we shouldn't see it as the president is the one i mean it is for all of us and plus after the president made the pronouncement they've gone to parliament to pass i don't know whether it's an ally or whatever to make it binding so it's not just the words of the president so right now that's why police were able to uh, arrest the pastor in Kumasi. so let's all be law abiding let's stay away from people that we suspect are having symptoms of fluid and all of that if you you, you sneeze with uh, a tissue uh discard it into a dustbin as soon as you are done if you if you if, if you if you spit just cover it with dust and do the right things wash your hands as soon as possible with running water and i know that we'll be safe but the most important thing is i'm asking our president his excellency nana akufuado to take advantage of this to make sure that we become sufficient in rice production in tomatoes in 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 corn or maize and i know this can be done just call our best farmers across the regions and let them give them consultants to help them know how much they need to make sure that by the next four six months ghana is not going to import some of these things anymore i'm telling you some african countries are going to take advantage of this by the time we are done they are not going to import so many things anymore once again my name is kwabda bibinita we are aka dj for the public enemy who has no one um the show will be uploaded on youtube the youtube channel is dj Fuad, and uh, also uh watch it live on csf tv thank you very much for doing the watching i'm out we'll meet this evening walls of people's dwellings so that after the bite of a mosquito you know normally they will rest on the walls so when they rest on the walls then